Pfizer, and today I'm here with Little Bunny, and we're going to be talking about rabbit housing and ways that you can keep your rabbit confined in or outside your house. So basically, some people do allow their rabbits to be loose in the house, and with supervision that can be fine, but the rabbit should have an area where they can be contained safely if you're not available to supervise, which would be a cage. So for um, the cage selection, we do have a wire cage. This is all wire. It's very, very sturdy. The rabbit's not going to be able to chew this. Um, this one does have actually a wire mesh floor, which keeps the rabbit suspended off of the waste and litter. And that's nice, but at the same time, that wire mesh can become irritating to the rabbit's feet if he's on there 24 hours a day. So you do want to provide maybe a piece of cardboard or wood, a uh, piece of towel or carpet, some pl somewhere that uh, part of the cage has a solid surface that he can rest on that's not just the wire. Uh, the wire cage, another one of the disadvantages might be that sometimes when rabbits urinate, they lift up and they spray out the side of the wire. I've installed a, a urine guard inside here, which is just two pieces of metal, uh, comes in a little you know package like this, and they just bolt right onto the sides to prevent the urine spray from coming out through the wire. Um, the second type of cage that we have here actually has a solid base that the rabbit would sit down in the litter, so you would need to be diligent with cleaning the litter, making sure that he's not sitting in a lot of soiled mess in there. The entire top of the cage lifts off, so you could actually use this as another type of containment, maybe outside in the grass, on a, you know, in the shade, so that's another type of enclosure that you can use is the you know, solid bottom cage. Um, we also have the, the bunny today inside an exercise pen for small animals. Now this is just one small exercise pen. These can be linked together so that you could create a larger area. This is a safe way to allow your rabbit some exercise time. They can't just be cooped up in the cage all the time. They do need some exercise time. If it's going to be loose in the house, you want to rabbit proof the house by removing any electric wires, uh, drapes, things you know, keep him away from things that he can chew on and, and harm himself or harm the items. But you could use this exercise pen to, to do that also. Some people can't keep a rabbit inside the house for different reasons. They may choose to use an outside rabbit hutch. Um, outside rabbit hutches come in different styles. This one sits right down on the ground or you actually can put it up on top of another uh, wire cage area. But still, even though the rabbit is securely housed inside that, you do want to be aware that uh, predators such as foxes, uh, raccoons, even stray dogs could still get near this cage and harass the rabbit. Uh, rabbits can actually die of fright, so you want to be aware of that. If your rabbit's going to be outside in a hutch like this, you would probably want to build an, a yard around this to keep the rabbit safe or put this in a shed or a secure area where predators cannot get next to the pen. Um, some essentials to go inside your rabbit cage, whether it be your outside hutch or your inside cage, you do want to have some sort of a hiding spot. This is a little den or a bungalow uh, made out of timothy hay that's in a rope. So this would be something he would gradually chew over time. You could also use a cardboard box or a wooden box, but they like some place to get in and hide. Um, you also want to have something to contain the rabbit's hay. They eat a high quantity of hay. So this is a little hay dispenser. You put the hay in and he can just eat that out. Your food dish needs to be something sturdy that he can't chew or tip over. A nice ceramic bowl works well for that. You don't want to use a water bottle or water bowl, excuse me, because rabbits shed a great deal. I don't know if you can see how much fur we have here today on the bunny. That fur would get into the water dish and possibly be ingested when the rabbit drinks the water. So it's best to use a water bottle. This keeps the water very fresh and clean. He'll lick off the end. Um, if he if your rabbit chews the plastic, you could prevent that by getting a chew guard that the bottle sits down in so that it's protected. Um, another thing to know about rabbits, if you're going to have them loose in the house or even in their cage, you can actually teach them to use the litter box. Um, this is a corner litter box with high sides to prevent that urine spray we talked about before. This could be placed inside your, your rabbit's cage and the rabbits will go back to the litter box to do their business and then they can run around. So they're a very clean pet to have. Um, that's some of the basics and essentials about keeping rabbits. I hope you found this helpful and thank you.